Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in the middle of Tennessee with this brain dead moron of a fraudster called Nasty Nathaniel as he attempts to audit a child support office. You know, Nasty Nathaniel, I think you should stay away from the child support office. Maybe you should go audit a sewage treatment plan. But anyway, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Nasty Nathaniel out here in the city of Gallatin, Tennessee. And joining me is Nashville Audits. Right now we're going to be doing a First Amendment audit of the Gallatin Child Support Services Office. Yeah! It's located right here in downtown. And we're going to make sure that they respect and honor our constitutionally protected right to film what we can see from a public space. And hopefully they won't slap me with back child support payments. Well, I don't have any children, so I guess uh, that won't work. Well, I don't have any children either, so... I don't need to really see the inside of a child support office, but there was a time a woman did threaten to sue me if I didn't marry her. All right, here we go. Child support services. Well, they got this. Uh, they got this big fancy sign. Looks like it's seen better days. All right. Well, they are open for business. Okay, okay. Uh, well, this is the restroom. I don't think there's anything going on in here, or at least not. Uh, not at the moment. Hello. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Just looking around, ma'am. Okay. How you doing today? Good. How can I Oh, just wanted to film the uh, the child support uh, building. Is this a state building or? Okay. Well, someone's not happy. No, she's not happy. Maybe she didn't have her uh, morning margarita. All right, well, not a whole lot to see. I mean, it's kind of. Yeah, there's not a whole lot to see because they've tried to create privacy, but you idiots will invade the privacy. So. Why don't you two goofballs just move along home? Pretty small office. Yeah. The sign doesn't say. That's why I was wondering if it's a state building or a county building because... Uh, no, we're in the child support office. I think it's, I think it's state run, but I'm not sure. Well, normally they'd have like the state seal or the county seal or something <laughs> indicating that, hey, this is the I wouldn't such and that, such. I see nothing like that. So yeah, this is uh, where you where you go if you need to uh, pay your child support. Um, that, uh, that nice young lady uh, at the window, she. Uh, There's she, a Fourth Amendment violation right here. What's that? Anybody who comes to speak with a coworker, a caseworker, must have a photo ID. Uh oh! Retard alert! Retard alert! Class! Fourth Amendment right violation. Come on, dude. Are you that damn stupid? You need a photo ID for just about anything these days. It's not unreasonable for anybody to want to know your ID before you enter a office like this, you brain-dead idiot. Oh, wow. Oh, well, maybe we can ask him about that. Hey, howdy. How you doing? What was that? Oh, how you doing today, sir? Huh? Who are you, sir? Oh, just a good citizen. I just want to check out the child support building. We're journalists. Do you have a case here? A, a case? Yes, sir. Uh, well, not, not, not exactly. I just want to, you know, just for matters of public interest, just want to film the building. Well, we're not allowed to allow people without business back behind the restricted area. We're not going to restricted. We just want to stay in your lobby here, that's all. Disseminate information to the public? Most everybody knows what a child support office is and what they do. There is no reason for you to lie about your credentials of being a journalist and stand here annoying everybody. So why don't you just make it like a tree and leave? People may not have seen this office before. May not even know it exists. 
I got permission from the U.S. Constitution. Yes, sir. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. As as you Would you mind coming out over here? Maybe we can hear you a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I'll just open this door. And... Now, I see that sign right there. That says restricted area, authorized personnel this only. Now, we're not going to go beyond there. He is required anyone going beyond this point. I'm not planning on going beyond that point. But I'm not planning on showing ID anyway. I don't even have one. Oh, okay, well, uh, this is a, look at this is like, this looks like a, like it could be like a child's bedroom or something opposed to like a government office. You know, Miss Happy is back. Maybe she w went back in the back and sucked back a few margaritas before uh, coming back to her desk. I gotta stop assuming that everybody drinks margaritas. I mean, I guess not everyone's a boozer like my nasty butt. Hi! How's it going? Huh? Would you mind coming around through the front? It's kind of hard to hear you a little bit. Oh, just, we're just doing some public filming, that's all. Well, what? We're not bothering anybody or disrupting anything. That's, I mean, there's nobody in here anyway, but... Well, that's not very nice. Well, sir, I'm just asking you politely to leave. Well, you're not really being polite about it, but... Uh... Well, now he's asked us to leave. Well, I guess he's going to go get the sheriff. I guess he's going to go sick Roscoe Pico train on us. Well, now, how about that? The guy decided to leave before the police were called. That's rare in a frauder these days. Because normally they'd stick around and push their luck even further.